Hi, in this problem we're going to find the linear approximation to this function at 2 comma 3 and then we're going to use it to estimate uh, this function value. Let's go ahead and work through this very carefully. Solution. So the formula for the linear approximation, I'll call it big L of xy equal to the following. It's the partial with respect to x at our point which I'll just call AB times X minus A plus the partial with respect to Y at our point AB times Y minus B plus F of AB. Okay, so in this problem, our A is equal to two and our B is equal to three. Let's go ahead and do some quick math here to find um, the partials. So fx is the partial with respect to x. So when we're computing this, we treat all of the other variables as uh, constants. The y is a constant. So the derivative of x is 1, and we're left with a y. And then the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of y is 0. And then fy, when we compute this, we treat all of the other variables as constants. The derivative of y is 1, we're left with an x. The derivative of x is 0, and then the derivative of y is negative 1. And so we want these uh, partials evaluated at this number, uh, 2 comma 3. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we have L of 2 comma 3, or rather xy. Leave it as xy. The 2 and the 3 are the a and the b. So this is fx at 2, 3, and then it's x minus 2, right, because your a is 2, right? This is a function, so you can use this to, you know, compute lots of values, plus fy at a, b, so fy at 2, 3, and then this is y minus 3, then plus, and then f of a, b, so f of 2, 3. Okay, let's keep going. So this is equal to so fx at 2, 3. Uh, so if we plug in uh, that here for y plus 1, it's actually pretty simple because um, there's no x, there's just a y. So it'll be, I'll just show you up here, 2, 3. It'll just be 3 plus 1, so that's 4. This is 4 times x minus 2. And then plus fy at 2, 3, x is 2, so it'll be, I'll show you up here, fy 3, it would be 2 minus 1, that's just 1. That's just 1 times y minus 3. And then f of 2, 3, just plugging in 2 and 3 here, we get 2 times 3 plus 2 minus 3. Plug in 2 for x, 3 for y, that's going to be 6 minus 1, so that's 5. 5. Let's keep going just to clean it up. This is going to be L X Y. Four times X is four X. And then four times negative two is negative eight. One times Y is Y. One times negative three is negative three. And then we have a plus five over here. So we have L of X Y. Equal to, let's see, four X. Uh, plus y minus 11 plus 5 so minus 6 so that should be the linear approximation and then the last thing is to estimate this so let's go ahead and do that we're going to plug in 2.1 and 2.99 into this right so let's see l of 2.1 2.99 is going to be 4 times 2.1 plus 2.99 minus six and I'm gonna get my calculator I have one over here just to just to you know do it with a calculator just to be sure that you know correct four times two point one plus two point nine nine minus six so I got five point uh three nine five point three nine so that should be the approximation um I wonder what the real value is so I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in so let's just do that just for comparison so we have f of x, y, and that was x, y 
plus x uh, minus y. So now what we'll do is we'll plug these in just, just to compare, just to see how close it is. So this is f of 2.1, 2.99. That's equal to 2.1, 2.99 plus 2.1. Not hard, but like it, it is tedious with all these decimals. These types of problems um, are always a little bit tedious, I think, because uh, you have so many decimals and stuff. 1 minus 2.99, let's see. Yeah, I got 5 point, really close. So this is actually equal to 5.389. So wow, so that's that's really close. So this is the approximation. And this is the actual value. So that's that's pretty good. It's pretty impressive, right? So the power of calculus. So recap really quickly. All you do is you basically just use this formula uh, and plug everything in and then you have your function and then you can use this to estimate uh, values close to 2 comma 3. So 2.1, 2.99, the x and the y are both really close to these x's and y's. So it's an approximation whenever um, it's close to uh, that point. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.